When Mason and Shannon found this 2,000 square foot bungalow, they knew they'd found the best place to raise their young son. From the minute I saw this house, I really loved the charm. For a family of three, this house was perfect. We weren't here long before our family started to change. I began working with the youth ministry at our church. Carmen began coming to our youth group. After a while, it became clear to Mason that she um, may be in a bit of a tricky family situation and she might just need a place to stay. So Carmen came to live with us. And as of a few months ago, she was officially adopted. Carmen has brought so much joy to this family, but having a full-blown teenager, having a toddler, this space has shrunk down on top of us big time. It is challenging, but it is workable. I don't feel that way. When we're trying to figure out this new family dynamic, the last thing we need to do is be worrying about this house. I definitely feel like there's a house out there that is less stressful. We've just become a new family. I don't think now is the time to uproot. There is definitely an easier way to live. Quite frankly, I think you guys need a four bedroom house. We do. I'm thinking like two story, finished basement for the kids. Be perfect. You tell me what you think you need. We need a minimum of three bedrooms, three bathrooms, including a master bath. We want an open concept kitchen and family room. We'd like a laundry room, dedicated workout room, a good sized yard, and most importantly, in the same school district. All right, I've done an evaluation on your home. Current value is 348,000. That's pretty good. What is the budget for the new house? 420,000. That's not bad for a three bedroom house. So he says, look, I've been through the home too, and I have absolutely no reason to believe that this isn't the place that you should stay in. And I've got great ideas of what to do in there. What I'd like most of all would be to add some space, but you tell me right. and we'll see how we go. All right. We need a private master bedroom with our own bathroom. Open up and renovate the kitchen. Update all three of the bathrooms. Relocate the laundry room. Create a better yard access. And then also finish the basement with a dedicated workout space. That was a great idea. I love it. So what have I got to spend? $75,000. Either way, when I've spent that money on transforming your home, you're going to love it. We'll see. They need more space. And when I find that house, the only thing you're going to say about your current one is list it. Already hitting the listings, David is determined to use his $420,000 house buying budget to find the larger house that can comfortably fit their newly formed family of four. And back at the house, Hillary and contractor Eric have arrived, determined to use their $75,000 renovation budget to prove to Mason the true family size potential of his compact home. As demolition in the kitchen begins, and as the past gets cleared away at home, only a few miles away, David thinks he's found a house that can introduce Shannon to the size of space her bustling family of four deserves. Now look deserves. at this neighborhood. This house is perfection for your family. At 2,500 square feet, this move-in ready house is substantially larger than theirs, allowing for four bedrooms and four bathrooms, including a master bath. Giving them the function they deserve are an open concept kitchen and family room combination, along with a laundry room and dedicated workout space all on a good-sized lot inside their current school district. Your front entrance. I think it's narrow. I like it. This house is going to function the way that it should. It's not going to be doing dual purpose. Good. And here you have the gym. It's a good space. And there's no way that Hillary can give you something like this. You've got me on that. Then let's keep going. What do you think this house is listed at? 430. What do you think? 450. This house is listed at 499,000. <laughs> That's a little outside of what? We could stay in. That does kind of tell you something about your neighborhood and what it costs to get a type of house like this. I can't raise a four-year-old son right next to five lanes of traffic. If you put this house in a better location, then it's likely more. That makes me nervous. Clearly, we are moving in a different direction. Yep. While David heads out in search of quieter streets, Shannon and Mason head home, where with demolition still in full swing inside, Hillary hopes her big plans to solve their living room-based laundry and powder room resonate with both sides of this conflicted couple. Unable to talk Shannon and Mason into a 20% budget increase that would allow the obtrusive laundry and powder room to be properly separated from the living space, Hillary remains determined to find a solution, even if it is significantly smaller in scale. Hillary's whole team moves confidently forward, ripping out the large window, creating convenient kitchen access to the yard. In the newly assigned master bedroom, the recently annexed closet space is being framed up, while the old one is taking shape as the new master bath, thanks to an upgrade in plumbing. And while the layout of this house has become undeniably improved, Hillary's not the only one taking bold steps forward, 
As a few neighborhoods away, David is rolling the dice on a house he thinks has enough going for it. At 2,300 square feet, this move-in ready home has space to spare, allowing for three bedrooms and three bathrooms. Giving this family even more breathing room are an open concept kitchen and living room and an additional family room. Also, this house features a workout room, an attached two-car garage, and a huge backyard. Just one of the perks of being just outside their central school district. You walk in, and this is a house that's obviously undergone a serious renovation. Yeah, it seems tight right here. It's just an interest one. It's fine. <laughs> that, that is enough for me. So we move into the family room, a great space for the family to get together. It's closed off. But this is nice. And there is also a formal living room. What do you think this house is listed at? 400,000. I was gonna say around 415. This house is listed at 375,000. You gotta be kidding. Well below your budget. Yes. But I don't like the school constraints. I don't want to cause more change than necessary for Carmen. Okay, I, I understand that. But you know something's going to give if we go back there. Yep. So while David reluctantly dives back into their preferred area, Mason and Shannon head home to open the door on the new look of their central space. As the master bathroom fixtures are installed and tiling begins, and as the installation of the large island certainly makes this look like a kitchen worth staying for, not far away, David is working extra hard to make Shannon see the value in moving. Here we are, right on the edge of your school district. Exactly. You go a little further out in terms of your neighborhood and look at what you get. That's it's nice. fantastic. I don't know what Hillary's gonna deliver, but this delivers it all. We'll see. At 2,900 square feet, this move-in ready house has more than enough space for their busy family, as evidenced by its four bedrooms and three bathrooms, including a master bath. Doubling the function of their house are two central living spaces and a large eating kitchen. Those things, combined with a dedicated laundry space, a workout room, and an attached two-car garage, this house just might be the perfect way to give them everything they need without leaving Carmen's school district. Come on in. Oh, man. You have an interesting front entrance. You've been talking about Hillary doing something with your laundry. It's not happening. So where Hillary dropped the ball, David picks it up. <laughs> right this way. Let's do it. What do you think this house is listed at? 425? I say 460. This house is listed at 460,000. That is a lot more than our current budget. But you're not going back to a completely done house. I'm about to say you're it. going back to a house that's going to have some projects yes. that you're going to have to spend money and time on. But if you think about what this house has to offer, it's worth it. <laughs> right. Shannon and Mason arrive to see their own house now that Hillary's extensive renovations are finally complete. I'm excited. I hope you are. Yeah, we're we are. Very excited. Ready? Yes. Steady? Here we yeah, go. Let's do it. All right. Oh, man. Holy cow. This looks like a totally different house. It's awesome. This looks incredible. So yeah. you've now got a fireplace that actually is really scaled better. We eliminated that great big thing jutting out into yeah. the room. With that gone, this is a good sized dining room by any one stand. That's amazing. That is incredible. And the other thing is, of course, there's no drying rack here with laundry. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you go on in. No Holy way. cow. Oh, that's man, really that's, cool. Yeah, that's really nice. Now this is one of the biggest changes oh in your home. Oh my cool. Oh Amazing. my gosh. Now, you have a decision to make. Before you make that decision, I have one more listen to show you, and it's yours. This is the current value of the home with the renovation that has been done. That's great. The pre-renovation value of their home was $348,000. With a slightly increased renovation budget of $78,500, the new estimated value of their home is $445,000. That increases the value of their house by $97,000. OK, so decision made? Decision is made. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We're gonna love it. Yes! Fantastic. House with options! <laughs> no, it was tough. I mean, you really did a top-notch job. I don't want to uproot the kids, especially Carmen again. Everything's workable for us now in this house. Hey, listen, I am thrilled for you guys. Thank you. Enjoy Thank your you house. So I am so happy. <laughs> that was Thanks great so working with you.